so the Lord is in all and he surrounds us in every way and he has descended into his creation and he has ascended to where he came from and how has he done this how has the Lord descended under his creation how has the Lord spoken unto our forefathers unto Moses in the burning bush as the angel of the Lord spoken unto Abraham unto Isaac unto Jacob how has the Lord become an angel because the Lord is a spirit because in the beginning the Spirit of God hovered over the waters and so we see a descent from unapproachable light unto spirit and then unto the angelic and then in the form of a man yes as a man the Lord appears as a man as the Messiah a resurrected Messiah who ascends unto the angelic and once again unto the spirit as the spirit of the Messiah so the ascending the descending the ascending is in the form of spirit angelic and human and from there humanity angelic spiritual so the Lord has filled all of his creation in that he created the angels he created us and the Lord himself appears as both and as spirit and as all things as fire as his presence as the pillar of cloud by day and the fire by night this is what it means for divinity to fill all and the union of humanity and divinity to reject the notion that God can be a man is to reject this idea that human humanity and divinity are united <laughs>